right. All I am is a servant and a student yeah. and a messenger yeah. of the Most High. Yes, Amen. Gino Jennings, a holiness preacher, known for his firmness on the Bible and debunking false doctrines such as the Trinity, remarriage and divorce, women preachers, the Sabbath, same-sex marriage and debating preacher on topics such as the Godhead. He is also known for calling out prosperity preachers such as Joel Osteen, Creflo Dollar, T.D. Jakes, Benny Hinn, Kenneth Copeland and many more. Born on February 10, 1963, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Gino Jennings is the fourth of five sons born to Bishop Ernest Jennings and Mother Jennings. As a child, Gino Jennings, who was also called Nicky, was actively involved in his family's religious practices. The church where they worshipped was headed by his great uncle. His father Bishop Ernest Jennings was the second in charge and Gino Jennings, despite his tender age, was third in charge. He began preaching at the age of 13 years old and was also the Bible reader for his leader which allowed him to accompany him on his travels. Not before long, God started dealing with him by making known to him the work that he would have him do. God appeared to him on the second day during a three days and three nights fast in his teenage years. He showed him many visions, which included a worldwide radio broadcast, and a great work involving many people and churches. He began to tell others of the many things God was showing him, but few believed, some doubted, while others mocked him. It was then that the knowledge and light of the scriptures began to be made known to him. The inspired messages began to hold the attention of the congregation, souls began receiving the Holy Ghost and the people were encouraged to walk with the Lord. The biblical wisdom given to him was noticed by others who began asking him questions. All of this greatly displeased his pastor, Bishop Haywood Hinton, and as a result he silenced him for an entire year. Yet the vision remained before him, and was fixed firmly in his mind. He was given the chance to speak to the congregation after a year without preaching but he was instructed to just preach the doctrine that his pastor taught, nevertheless, his teachings remained the same, he preached as God inspired him. As a result he was again silenced for another year, but he clung steadfastly to the visions that had been shown to him. His leader then began to drift away from many of his strict teachings, and was not holding firm to the things in the Bible anymore. This became a concern to the congregation, and many were discouraged, some even left the church. Gino Jennings' father, Bishop Ernest Jennings fell ill at that time as well. Despite all that was happening, Gino Jennings decided within himself not to leave unless he was told to do so by God and God alone. At the end of the second year Gino Jennings was again permitted to preach. But again, his message did not change. By this time, Gino Jennings who was well beloved by his leader, was now almost despised by him. May 17th, 1984, at age 22, God finally told him to leave. He went directly to his leader, and told him that he was leaving to do the work which the Holy Ghost had called him to do. He was told that he was too young to be a leader, that he would have no followers, but he was unmoved, because the vision remained in his mind, it was certain and clear, and he believed that God was faithful. May 21, 1984 the same week in which he had left the false church and decided to start the work God had shown to him. His father Bishop Jennings, decided to work under the leadership of his son, because he never considered himself to be a leader. Although attempts were made to get a place of worship, the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ Incorporation, started in the basement of his parents' home. Located at 1335 West Jerome Street in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It was humble beginnings, at that time there were only 12 to 15 sincere members, gathered to hear the word of the Lord. This was the headquarters of the church. Gino Jennings continued to preach the strict word of God, holding firm to what is written in the scriptures. He began to correct many teachings that was being taught for years, as he was led by the Holy Ghost. His father Bishop Ernest Jennings was appointed national bishop and his brother Tyrone Jennings, was the first deacon to be ordained. The Lord wrought many miracles by the hands of Gino Jennings, the hearing in the left ear of a church brother was healed, a sister died, prayer was made and the Lord brought her back to life, and another sister received the Holy Ghost while Gino Jennings was praying. The work began to grow, 
and services in Philadelphia had to be moved to the Hunting Park Recreation Center on the first Sunday of the month in order to accommodate the growing congregation. And look at the sanks that is able to fit in here, because there was a time when we had plenty of room. <laughs> and uh, the Lord has brought us a long way in this place. We have baptized over 350 souls when we were meeting here. On April 2, 1989, the headquarters of the church was moved to 7485 Briar Road, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. That month would see a big change for Pastor Jennings and Sister Darlene Gayman as they got married on April 15, 1989. The ceremony was performed by his father Bishop Jennings. For many it was the first holy wedding they had ever seen. Even though it was his wedding, it didn't stop him from preaching the word. He preached that very same night after the wedding. At the dawning of 1990, Gino Jennings decided that it was time to take the gospel to the airwaves. This was communicated to the church and preparations began. The name of the broadcast, the Truth of God radio program was put together, several local radio stations were contacted. By mid-February, the church was successful in getting a 30 minutes international broadcast on WWCR Nashville, Tennessee, and in one hour broadcast on WTMR Camden, New Jersey. The Truth of God radio program was aired for the first time on Sunday, March 4, 1990, over WWCR. That same night the one-hour program was also heard for the first time on WTMR. This was another step in the fulfillment of the divine vision given to Gino Jennings. Now I'm honored to present unto you the servant of God and General Overseer Pastor Gino Jennings. Greetings again, brothers and sisters and friends and enemies. This is First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles' Faith, 2431 Frankfurt Avenue in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania is our location. Here in the United States of America, where you have a standard invitation always to come and visit us and hear the Word of God preached according to what is written in the Scriptures. The broadcast continued to grow and by the end of the second year the Truth of God radio program was being heard everywhere around the world. Then suddenly, in the very early hours of April 12, 1991, Gino Jennings' father, Bishop Ernest Jennings died. The suddenness of his death left everyone in shock. His unexpected departure seemed to reverberate through the entire church. November 21, 1991, the church relocated to 2431 Frankfurt Avenue in Philadelphia, and after 25 years at Frankfurt Avenue, with the constant growth, the capacity was outgrown in which a new headquarters temple was sought after in Philadelphia. Finally, on June 29, 2016, settlement was made on the present headquarters church located at 5105 North 5th Street, Philadelphia. Gino Jennings has continued to preach the truth without compromising, and has debated many who disagrees with some of what he teaches. He has a reputation of never losing a debate, because he's coming straight from the scriptures, and God is with him. Gino Jennings does not get paid to preach, he works to provide for his family. He and his wife flips properties for a living, and believes that every preacher should get a job and go to work and stop living off the people. I can truly say that Gino Jennings is a true apostle, sent by God in our time, to lead us in the right way to God. Follow him, as he follow Christ. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I do pray that we all continue in striving to please God. Thanks for watching.